had this vision of um, a parent and their kid at a fundraising event. It had to do with music and art. The kid was around five to seven years old with curly hair. I did see um, a little bit more, but I'll save the details. Um, and in this event specifically, the kid was getting restless and he wanted to take a nap. And of course, you know, you as a parent, you're telling him, hey, this is not the place for it. Um, and the reason why I'm sharing this uh, vision it's because you've been talking to God and you've been asking him to talk back and he has not been talking back to you. And you're wondering, hey, is there a God? Is he listening? I do want to let you know, yes, there is a God and he is listening. And this is why you're receiving this message. The reason why he has not responded yet is because it takes time to build a relationship with God. He's very wise. He's not, he doesn't like it when you're in in today and you're out tomorrow so he takes time before he speaks to you he really wants to know are you all in and to uh, share a specific uh, moment in my life that the Holy Spirit's um, asking me to it was a time where I had a beautiful collection of handbags. Um, most of them were gifted to me because I don't like to splurge on high ticket items. Um, I have a heart that is more after the people. So for me, it's like um, um, if you were to give me something that is costly, I'm like, oh my goodness, I could have like fed so many homeless people and children with this um, so that's more of my personality um, but either way I've learned how to be gracious and thankful for the things that were given to me so I had a beautiful collection of handbags um, most of them were um, designer handbags and I ended up giving them up a away to other women and blessing them with it just as I had felt blessed when um, I was favored. A lot of times when people give me things, um, I am very thankful, but more importantly, I don't see it as that person giving it to me. I see it as God working through that person in order to favor me. So I gave away all um, my handbags and I um, wanted to show God that I did not idolize materialistic things and that I would never put those things above my relationship with God. He didn't ask me to do it. I did it as a way for me to show him like, look, you already know my heart. I'm not about these kind of stuff, but I want to show you that I'm really not about these kind of stuff. And I gave it away. And even though he didn't ask me to, I believe that it did help me build a relationship with God. So I hope this blessed you in your journey and in building a relationship with him. Bye. I found the original recording um, of when I had the vision regarding the little girl who had passed away on my previous messages. Um, so I do want to share that I had that vision back in April of 2022. I also found an old recording that I just wanted to share that it was so funny. Um, my mother and I, um, I had took her to Sedona um, because she's never been. So um, when I took her to Sedona, we entered the store. And the moment we entered the store, the owner of the store was like, whoa, you got some Mother Teresa vibes. And I just chuckled because I had told him, I was like, those are my initials, MT. <laughs> I just watched something that made me laugh um, on YouTube that had to do with BBLs. I was watching this doctor talk about um, the like people saying like, oh, oh, if you have a BBL, you stink. Um, well, it comes down to hygiene because what it is, it's hard to wipe your butt. But more importantly, the reason why I laugh is um, um, because like if you, because he goes, it really goes down to hygiene because having a BBL does not make your butt stink. It's really how you take care of this. But um, I was uh, telling my honey that people have asked me before, even though like I've always had like a butt <laughs> um, my mom has a butt it's in our genes I say it comes from the German side um, because my grandma is very slender but more importantly I just find it so funny because um, like I would often get asked like oh yeah you know did you get a BBL and I would say no actually I attribute my butt to playing soccer um, if you have to like when I was 10 I had this uh, my soccer coach, she made us like wall sit um, 
for an hour and literally when I was done I felt like Chung Lee so that's my funny story for the day <laughs> hi everyone I had a dream now um <laughs> sounded like Martin Luther King I do want to let you know that um, I'm not gonna get into the details of it but I do want to share with you guys um, when it comes to the spiritual realm right the dream realm is also another realm that, where people can connect to you but I what I want to share with you that um, in my dream I met another young witch that was like I um, however I always tell people my power comes from Jesus it comes from God it's not of me it's not of what I do um, so what I specifically wanted to share when this witch was doing her thing I that's what I'm gonna say she was doing her thing um, she closed all the blinds um, in her house so she didn't want to be in sunlight um, and she wore dark clothing so I do want to let you know that the kingdom of darkness hence darkness dwells in darkness because they get their power from darkness they also wear dark clothes colors such as black red so the kingdom of light that's why when you hear in the Bible Jesus and the people dressed in white, right? That's the kingdom of light. So we want to stay away from dwelling in darkness. If you're wondering, why am I sad? Why? Don't be lukewarm. Open up your blinds and change your closet if you need to. I hope this blesses you. Have a wonderful day. 2019 end of 2019 I got a message day of atonement I actually shared it with a friend too as well um, as they were picking me up so day of atonement I'm gonna let you google it and find out what it is <laughs> 